Hello there, Chris Benson's back with the mini quiz. Hope you're okay, hope you're doing all right. It's all sport related today, so grab your pen and paper. All sport related. Um, so just 10 questions to get you thinking, grab a brew and a biscuit, uh, and just take 10 minutes out from your day and uh, say a different topic every day on the mini quizzes. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and tell your friends. Uh, this is the second mini series of uh, quizzes we're doing. And if they're popular, we'll keep them going. That's the idea. So uh, as I say, plenty of quizzes on this channel as you will look and notice. But today's is all sport. 10 questions on sport, okay? So question number one. Which country came top of the medal table in the 2016 Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. So question one, which country came top of the medal table in the 2016 Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro? All right, so that's number one. Have a think, talk amongst your team, who was it? Question two, which country came top of the medal table at the 2018 Winter Olympic Games held in Pyeongchang, South Korea? So which country came top of the medal table in the 2018 Winter Olympic Games held in Pyeongchang, South Korea? That's a tough one now. That is a tough one, isn't it? Uh, but have a go. Put an answer down. Uh, see if anyone gets 10 out of 10, of course, in this quiz. Uh, question three. Which Brazilian-born footballer transferred from Italian club Roma to Chelsea in January 2018 for a reported fee of 17.6 million pounds. So question three, which Brazilian born footballer transferred from Italian club Roma to Chelsea in January 2018 for a reported fee of 17.6 million pounds? Who was it? So that's number three. Just, of course, 10 questions in this round. All right. If you need to hear any of the questions again, of course, you can hit the rewind button and just play the quiz at your leisure. Keep pausing me. Absolutely fine. Uh, you can play whenever you like. Question four. Check out Oki and Robin Hood are terms used in which sport? So check out Oki and Robin Hood are terms used in which sport? That is number four. All right. Number five. In which English city was Gary Lineker born? So number five, in which English city was Gary Lineker born? All right. Which English city was Gary Lineker born? Uh, okay. All right, let you think on that one. While you're thinking on that one, here is a little clip from one of the games that me and Eric went to this season, and we'll carry on with the quiz. Free kick to Liversidge. This is the 47th season of the FA Vars. And he's in! 1-1! One, one. All to play for again. Didn't quite find the touch. What a goal! What a goal! You will not see a better goal than that today. A terrific strike, and it's 3 1 to Liversidge. They will be replaying that one. For months, that was a terrific... Some highlights there from Chris and Eric's big match, uh, Liversidge against Ashton Athletic. I tell you what, that last goal there, what a 
cracker. I remember being so excited uh, when that one went in and I managed to get it on camera. But uh, if you want to see more highlights from Chris and Eric's big match, take a look on this channel. There's plenty to go at. Uh, extended highlights and goals, and we hope to have more football on there soon. Right, second half of the questions. Number six. How many players are there on a water polo team? So how many players are there on a water polo team? That is number six for you. Number seven. Which British skeleton racer won two consecutive gold medals in the 2014 and 2018 Winter Olympics? So number seven. Which British skeleton racer won two consecutive gold medals in the 2014 and 2018 Winter Olympics? All right. That's number seven. Put an answer down. Go with, go with whatever you think. Uh, number eight. In which year did Venus Williams win her first Wimbledon singles title? Very tough question, then I think. But uh, so number eight. In which year did Venus Williams win her first Wimbledon singles title? That is number eight. All right. Two more to go. All right. Number nine. What colour karate belt is a beginner required to wear? in the majority of schools. So number nine, what colour karate belt is a beginner required to wear in the majority of schools? All right. And number 10, what term is used for scoring one over par on a hole in golf? So number 10, what term is used for scoring one over par on a hole in golf? Right, so that is the questions. I'll give you just a few seconds. 31, 32, 33. Hmm, 66 Marlin is bigger than I thought. I told you, full size. Our old car is 48 steps around, 55, 56, 57. Uh, honey, it's the inside that counts. <laughs> You're going to walk across the top. It's built low, and yet you can sit up straight. How tall are you, Harry? Unbelievable. Uh, I'm six feet tall, and I have blue eyes. Uh, why don't you kick the tire? Silly. Now, why did you tell me the Marlin was a sports car? I said it was both. A sports fastback and roomy enough for the family, too. Well, you're right again. Both of us. Yeah. See the 66 Marlin at your friendly giant killer. Your American Motors Rambler dealer. Marlin by American Motors, where quality is built in, not added on. Right, an advert there for the Rambler Marlin from the uh, 1960s in America. Right, um, and to time. Number one, which country came top of the medal table in the 2016 Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro? It was the United States. Great Britain, if you're interested second. The United States was the answer that we were looking for. Question two. Which country came top of the medal table in the 2018 Winter Olympic Games held in Pyeongchang, South Korea? That was Norway. Norway was the answer. Number three. Which Brazilian-born footballer transferred from Italian club Roma to Chelsea in January 2018 for a reported fee of £17.6 million? It was Emerson Palmieri. Emerson Palmieri. Did anyone get that right? Tough question. Very tough question, but well done if you got it right. Number four, check out Oki and Robin Hood are terms used in which sport? Well, that is darts. Check out is the number needed to complete a game. Oki is the line that the players stand behind, and Robin Hood is throwing one dart into the shaft of another. I didn't know that. So there you go, that's where Robin Hood comes from. Number five, in which English city was Gary Lineker born? It's Leicester. Do you remember when Leicester won the title and he said he'd present match of the day in just his underpants? And he did. Uh, do you remember that? It's number six. How many players are there on a water polo team? There is seven. Wrong number of fingers there, Chris. Seven <laughs> players on a water polo team. Uh, number seven. Which British skeleton racer won two consecutive gold medals in the 2014 and 2018 Winter Olympics? It is Lizzie Yarnold. Lizzie Yarnold was the answer we were looking for there. Number eight, in which year did Venus Williams win her first Wimbledon singles title? It was 2000. Well done if you got that right, because I thought that was really tough. Number nine, what colour karate belt is a beginner required to wear in the majority of schools? It is a white belt. And number ten, what term is used for scoring one over par and a hole in golf? It is a bogey. So if you got ten out of ten, I tell you what, some of them are really hard 
today well done if you got a 10 out of 10 absolutely super and uh, if you got i think if you, if you got more than six today well done because as i say some killer questions but we'll be back with a different subject entirely tomorrow don't forget the premiere at 10 o'clock right here on this youtube channel uh, and you can play whenever you like and there's also a playlist i think you can find as well with them all so far there's eight that we did earlier in february and this is the second episode of the second series so go and have a look at them plenty of subjects out there to try and have about with another one tomorrow take care bye bye